An official of Chad's opposition transformers party says Chadians are mobilizing their personal resources to support the campaign of Prime Minister Success Masra, who is running against interim president Mohamed Idris Deby in the May 6 election. Undelembai Jaseda, Transformers Vice President for Political Affairs and the Diaspora, says that Masra is not getting funding from the government or from outside sources. He tells me that millions of Ch- Chadians are gravitating to Masra's grassroots campaign. I believe the campaign is going very well on our side. People are all excited and uh, uh, we are right now doing the Maliku Transformer, which basically means hello, Transformers. So we deploy since Sunday all of our militants to go talk to door, knock at people's door and say hello to them and present themselves to them. Tell them about May 6th election and encouraging them to come out and vote for us. So it's going perfectly well. How does it feel for Mr. Masra to be campaigning, uh, I would say, against the military leader who just appointed him the prime minister? I believe that's the definition of democracy. It's a freedom of choice. Being a prime minister doesn't keep him from running for the higher office. Everybody's doing their own campaign. The president is running his campaign and we are running our own. And uh, we trust the people of Chad to decide who should be the pilot of the next uh, destination of the Chad based on the justice and equality for all. Let's assume he wins. What the, the, is he comfortable or is he certain that uh, the military can really give up power? I believe we will have something new to show in Chad. Given that many people thought he shouldn't be even a candidate because he's a prime minister, and yet he is. And now he's running against the president, and not only the president, but against eight other candidates. And we're certain we will win because we are speaking in the heart of the people and we are in their hearts. Once we win, uh, we will be working with anybody from military to civilian because this is not about military. This is about the people of Chad. And the people of Chad have military within them. So we are not going to speculate on will they let us lead the country because they are powerful as well as we do for justice and equality for all. So Where is Mr. Masra getting his, his uh, funding for the campaign? Is it from the government? We are not getting funding from the government. It is from our constituents. We are doing the fundraising on the grassroots level. And people are pitching in, giving it their own resources, their cars, whatever they have to offer us food or drinks. This is a collective effort, and this shows how the people of Chad want change. We do not have state means. We do not have external funding. We are relying purely on our own militant and on our own resources to uh, organize this campaign. This is a very, very modest campaign we're having, and simply because our message has taken heart on the people of Chad, Everyone is mobilizing their own resources to put into our disposition in order to run this campaign. So we are not counting on anybody's funding because we believe that anyone who believes in justice and equality for all should be on our side. And luckily for us, millions of children are vouching for us, not only by the mask, but also within their pockets and within the, uh, and from the, the wealth and whatever else they have. But some offer the cars, some offer the house, some offer clothing, some offer water, some offer food. So it's amazing what's happening in Chad right now because of so many years, so many decades of lack of democracy. The Chadian people are aspiring for real change and they believe we should be the one bringing that change for them. Undulemba Yaseda is the Vice President for Political Affairs and the Diaspora of Chad's Opposition, the Transformers Party. He was speaking with us from the Chadian capital, Mujamina. UN peacekeepers in the Democratic Republic of Congo have helped to rescue five abducted civilians, a UN spokesman said on Tuesday. The UN peacekeeping mission known as MONUSCO intervened to help release five civilians, including a woman and two minors, following their abduction by an armed group close to Dijugu in the eastern province of Ituli, said Stefan Dijalik chief spokesman for UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Following their release, Monusco provided temporary shelter and medical assistance before they were transported by the mission back to their homes, said the spokesperson. Also in Italy, peacekeepers deployed to a mining site northeast of Bunia to protect civilians in response to an attack by Kodeko armed groups. Four civilians were killed in the attack and the mission is monitoring the situation, he said. 
The security situation in neighboring North Kivu province continues to deteriorate with heavy firing resuming between the M23 armed group and the Congolese armed forces just outside the town of Saki, said uh, the spokesperson. In response, peacekeepers have established a presence in the area, while the Congolese army reinforced the troops to deter any further attacks from the M23. Volker Tak, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, is currently in a DRC on an official visit at the invitation of the government, Dujalik said. Tak traveled to the eastern part of the country where he visited camps for internally displaced people and met with human rights defenders and civil society organizations. The spokesman said that when the High Commissioner is in the capital of Kinshasa, he is expected to meet with President Felix Tshisekedi, senior government officials and UN colleagues. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.